Hello friends and welcome to my channel, where I share with you some interesting facts and tips about health and beauty. Today, I'm going to talk about a common problem that affects many people, especially men, baldness. What causes baldness and how can you treat it? Let's find out. Baldness or scalp hair loss is when you lose more hair than you grow on your head. It can make your hair look thinner or create patches without any hair. Baldness can affect your self-esteem and confidence, but don't worry, there are some solutions that may help you. The main cause of baldness is a condition called androgenetic alopecia, or male or female pattern hair loss. This condition is inherited from your parents, and it makes your hair follicles sensitive to a hormone called dihydrotestosterone, DHT. DHT shrinks your hair follicles and shortens their lifespan so they produce less and weaker hair over time. According to the American Hair Loss Association, 95% of hair loss in men is caused by androgenetic alopecia. By the age of 50, about 85% of men will have significantly thinner hair. In women, this condition affects more than 50% of women, and it usually causes a widening of the hair part or a receding hairline. There are other possible causes of baldness, such as stress, illness, medication, diet, infection, autoimmune disease, but these causes are usually temporary or reversible, and they don't affect the majority of people who experience balding. So, how can you treat baldness? Well, there is no cure for androgenetic alopecia, but there are some treatments that may slow down the hair loss or stimulate new hair growth. Some of the most common options include minoxidil, Rogaine. This is an over-the-counter medication that you apply to your scalp once or twice a day. It works by increasing blood flow to the hair follicles and extending their growth phase. It may take several months to see results, and you need to keep using it indefinitely to maintain the benefits. Possible side effects include scalp irritation and unwanted hair growth on other parts of the body. Finasteride, Propecia. This is a prescription medication for men that you take orally once a day. It works by blocking the production of DHT in your body, which prevents further shrinking of the hair follicles. It may also regrow some hair in some cases. It may take several months to see results, and you need to keep taking it indefinitely to maintain the benefits. Possible side effects include decreased sex drive and sexual function and an increased risk of prostate cancer. Women who are pregnant or may become pregnant should not touch this medication. Laser therapy. This is a non-invasive treatment that uses low-level laser light to stimulate blood flow and cellular activity in the scalp. It may improve hair density and quality in some people. It may take several months to see results, and you need to repeat the treatment regularly to maintain the benefits. Possible side effects include scalp irritation and headache. Hair transplant surgery. This is an invasive treatment that involves removing healthy hair follicles from one part of your scalp and transplanting them to the bald areas. It may give you a natural looking result that lasts for a long time. However, it is expensive, painful, and may cause scarring or infection. These are some of the most popular treatments for baldness, but they are not guaranteed to work for everyone. They may also have some limitations or risks that you need to consider before trying them. If you are not interested in these treatments, or if they don't work for you, there are some other ways to cope with baldness, such as wearing a wig, toupee, or hairpiece. These are artificial products that cover your scalp with synthetic or natural hair. They can give you a variety of styles and colors to choose from. However, they may be uncomfortable, expensive, or require maintenance. Changing your hairstyle. You can try different hairstyles that make your hair look fuller or hide the bald areas. For example, you can grow your hair longer on the sides and back, comb your hair over the thinning spots, or shave your head completely. You can use products like sprays, powders, fibers, or tattoos that create the illusion of more hair on your scalp. They can be easy to apply and remove, but they may not look very natural or last very long. Accepting your baldness. You can embrace your baldness as part of your identity and style. You can be confident and proud of your appearance and not let it affect your self-esteem or happiness. You can also find support and inspiration from other people who are bald or balding, such as celebrities, role models, or online communities. Here are some interesting and funny facts about baldness. Bald men are perceived as more intelligent, powerful, and competent.
A study by Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania found that bald men were rated higher on these qualities than men with hair, even though they were otherwise identical. Bald men are also perceived as more attractive. A study by the University of Stirling in Scotland found that bald men were rated more attractive than men with hair, especially by women. Bald men are less likely to be victims of crime. A study by the University of Pennsylvania found that bald men were less likely to be robbed or assaulted than men with hair. Bald men have lower blood pressure. A study by the University of Tokyo found that bald men had lower blood pressure than men with hair. Bald men are more likely to be successful in business. A study by Harvard University found that bald men were more likely to be CEOs and other high-level executives than men with hair. Baldness is a common problem that can have different causes and treatments. It may be challenging to deal with, but it doesn't have to stop you from living your best life. Baldness is nothing to be ashamed of. It's a natural part of life for many people, and it can be very attractive. So next time you see a bald person, give them a smile and tell them they look great. I hope this video was helpful and informative for you. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.